To create a new user or edit existing users, you have to navigate to your admin page, click on the link in the upper right hand corner, and then click on your user management link. That will take you to a list of all your existing users. You can click on the pencil if you want to edit an existing user, or hover over the users tab and click on the create new user action. This page will give you uh, all the information you need to provide about the user. Notice the red asterisks. These are required fields. Here's one that gets everybody down here at the bottom. Don't forget to fill out the email address. Um, your Sugar email client is probably not what you want. You probably want an external email client. That would be Outlook usually. There's other things here as well, but usually it's this tab and this tab. If you want to change or edit a password, you use the password tab and provide the either new password or the changed password. You have to follow these rules. Now, a little bit about how you do password management in a moment, but once you're done creating the new user or editing the user, again, don't forget your required fields, just hit save. Now let's talk about password management. Go back to your admin page, click on password management, and you can see all the requirements for your password. These are the rules that you set up or that Sugar creates out of the box. You have to satisfy these rules if you're going to create a new password for your users. You can change these rules, obviously. Down here, you may ask the system to generate a password by checking this box. If you check this box, then the system will handle all the password creation, satisfying these rules here. The system will handle all the password creation, and it will send out uh, email alerts to the users for whom you change the passwords or the new users. If you do not, ch if you check this box, then the password tab in your user editing page goes away because there's no need to edit passwords since the system is handling it for you.